Panda Hall Presents. In today's do-it-yourself jewelry video, I'll show you how to make an adjustable red woven bead bracelet. Learning how to make this adjustable woven bracelet is rewarding and only requires minimal supplies. So, let's begin. The materials you will need are 4mm red pearl beads, 1mm red nylon thread, 1mm black nylon thread, iron hair clip, stainless steel scissors, and a lighter. So, let's begin. Step 1. Cut 4 pieces of 35cm black nylon thread, then cut 4 pieces of 35cm red nylon thread. Make sure that the four pieces are of a similar length. Now select two black nylon threads and two red nylon threads. Then combine the four threads by making a knot at one end. Remember, in order to make it adjustable, leave five to six centimeters on the end of the knot. Now you're going to make a knot on one end of the other four nylon threads. Again, be sure to leave five to six centimeters on the end so that you can adjust the bracelet. Now we're going to begin to make the basic pattern for this bracelet. Use a hair clip to clamp the two knots that you just made on the thread. This will help you while beading the bracelet. Now, for the left four nylon threads, adjust the sequence of the four nylon threads until the two black are on the two sides of the two red. Pass the left black nylon thread through the right side of the two red threads and keep the right black nylon thread onto it. Then tie a knot by crossing the two black threads and tighten. Pass the right black thread through the left side and keep the left nylon thread onto it. Then tie a knot by crossing the two black nylon threads and tighten. Follow the pattern above the two steps to make two knots on the right four nylon threads. Now 
Once you've made the two knots, we'll begin the beading pattern. Now thread two 4mm red pearl beads onto the third black nylon thread. Count from left to right. Then thread two 4mm red pearl beads onto the second black nylon thread. Pass a red nylon thread on the left through the right side of the two middle black threads. Keep a red nylon thread on to the right. Then tie a knot by crossing the two red nylon threads. Now pass the red nylon th thread on the right through the left side of the two middle black threads. Keep the left red onto it, then tie a knot by crossing the two red line threads together. Thread three formula red plural beads to the rightmost black nylon thread. To make the pearl beads thread easily, use a lighter to smooth the nylon thread on the end. You also thread three 4mm red pearls on the leftmost black nylon thread. Remember throughout the process to pay special attention to which threads are being used and knotted. Now for the left four nylon threads, pass the first black nylon thread through the right side of the two red nylon threads and keep a black nylon thread to the right. Then tie a knot by crossing the two black nylon threads and tighten. We're going to do the same on the left side. So, on the left side, pass the second black nylon thread through to the left side of the two red threads. Keep the black to the right onto it. Then tie a knot by crossing the two black threads and tighten. And then for the other four threads, you're going to repeat these two steps to make the knots.
Now pass the second red nylon thread through the right side of the two black nylon threads and keep the third red thread onto it. Then tie a knot by crossing the two red nylon threads together. Now pass the third red nylon thread through to the left side of the two black ones and keep the second red nylon thread onto it. Then tie a knot by crossing the two threads and tighten. Now thread two 4mm red pearl beads to the third black nylon thread. You will also thread two 4mm red pearl beads to the second black nylon thread. Now you're going to thread three 4mm red pearl beads onto the first and fourth black nylon threads. Now, for the left four nylon threads, pass the first black thread through the right side of the two red threads in the middle. Keep the second black onto it. Then tie a knot by crossing the two black threads and tighten. Then, pass the second black nylon thread through the left side to the first black nylon thread. Tie a knot by crossing the two black threads and tighten. You're going to repeat these steps on the right side to make the two knots. Now that you've completed those knots, we're going to tie the red knots. So, pass the second red nylon through to the right side of the two black nylon threads. Keep the third red nylon thread onto it. Then tie a knot and tighten. Again, you're going to pass the third red nylon thread through to the left side of the two black nylon threads. 
keep the second ne thread next to it, then tie a knot and tighten. We're going to go back to our black thread now. So for the left four threads, pass the first black nylon thread through to the right side of the two red nylon threads in the middle. Keep the second black thread onto it, then make a loop by crossing the two black nylon threads and tighten. Now you're going to do another knot by passing the second black thread through to the left side next to the first black nylon thread, tie a knot, and tighten. Make sure to leave a loop instead of tightening all the way. You're going to repeat these steps to create a loop on the other side. This will be the completed basic pattern for our bracelet. Try to make sure that the two loops are of equal size and look identical. Okay, now that you've made those, we're just going to go through and make the steps to make enough patterns. Be sure to measure your wrist so that the bracelet is long enough. Once you have finished all that, you're going to cut the excess part of the two nylon threads on the top and use the lighter to smooth the ends. You're going to continue to cut the threads two at a time so that you can use a lighter to smooth out the edges. Do this until you have cut all the excess thread. You're going to cut the threads at the other end and remember to cut them about the same length as you did on the other end. And then you're going to use the lighter to smooth those out.
Alright, now that you've cut those excess wires, we're going to finish the last step. Cut a piece of 1mm black nylon thread. Hold the two ends of the bracelet together and tie eight knots with the black nylon thread. So remember for this part, you're going to hold the two ends together and tie eight knots with the black thread. Once you finish the eight knots, cut any extra you have and use the light to smooth the ends. Once you have finished all eight of the knots and you've trimmed down the thread, our very last step in this adorable red ribbon bead bracelet will be to tie a knot at the end of the eight nylon threads left, each thread one by one. This will prevent the threads from slipping through the knots while making the bracelet adjustable. 
Once you've finished all the knots, this red woven bead bracelet is finished. This red woven bead bracelet is a popular pattern for homemade friendship bracelets and has many other uses. You can also customize this bracelet by using different color thread or different colored beads. You can make this very bright and very unique. This adjustable bracelet is a perfect gift for people and for friends. So, take a try, watch the tutorial above, and try to make your own. Remember, for more free Panda Haul beading video tutorials, please stay tuned.